So guys, we are on our last destination, Berlin Citadel. Go see what's inside. The underground citadel is a series of tunnels excavated in the late 19th century under the citadel of Verda in France. In 1552, King Henry II annexed the city of Verda, an important strategic place due to its location on a fortified promontory. It was part of the voyage of Germany, a military expedition of the king against Charles V of the Holy Roman Empire, which include the cities of Metz, Toul, and Verda. To protect and control the city, King Henry II applied the principles of bastion architecture and modified the medieval fortifications. And so, the idea of building a citadel was born. The king's engineers and mathematicians Pierre de Conti d'Argentur, Jacques Calum, and Claude Chatillon lead the construction according to the plans and principles of the Varician military engineer Jairan. He decided to consolidate the medieval fortifications, and the citadel was built from 1567 to 1634. But the site was not progressing because of the wars of religion. It was not until 1624, in the middle of the Thirty Years' War, that the work really begins. After Louis XIII had asked the Marshal de Marillac, Lieutenant General of the Bishoprics and Governor of Verda, to quickly complete the fortifications. In 1648, the Treaty of Munster, being part of the Treaties of Westphalia, confirms the attachment of the city and the bishopric of Verda to the Kingdom of France. Louis XIV entrusted the engineer and military architect Vova with the task of improving the city's defense. It gave Vova the opportunity to put his mark on it, as in many places in France. In Verda, it made way for the Vova fortifications. Work began in 1674 and ended in 1692, before resuming in 1698. The citadel had several bastions, barracks, an arsenal, an artillery store, a wheat store, and powder stores. Following the wars against Prussia in 1792 and 1871, and France's loss of Alsace-Lorraine, which include the city of Metz, a garrison town that became German, Verda became the new border. The citadel suffered damages, so defenses must be increased and fortified. From 1886 to 1893, galleries were dug in under 16 meters of rocks and formed the underground citadel of Verda, or lower citadel, in opposition to the upper one. A belt of around 40 forts were built around the region, such as the forts Vaux, Suvi, and Dumont, which formed the fortified area. Four kilometers of galleries were dug under the citadel that could accommodate men and materials in the event of conflict. In 1914, the galleries of four kilometers were extended over 7 kilometers by the end of the war. It consisted of 6 powder magazines, 7 ammunition stores, a bakery, a mill, a telephone, and telegraph exchange, water lifting machines for the city and the forts, kitchens, and large stores. From the start of the German offensive and the Battle of Verda on February 21, 1916, the first shells fell on the citadel. As expected, the local staff and certain civilian services found refuge in these galleries. The citadel of Verda is then organized like an underground city. It accommodated up to 10,000 soldiers 
and the bread ovens produced 28,000 rations of bread per day. The staff installed in the offices follows the progress of the fight need. Ammunition and powder stores supply the front, nurses treat the wounded, bakers produce up to 40,000 rations per day. The troops leaving or returning from the front follow one another. Within the citadel, they have huge dormitories but also places dedicated to entertainment. An electrical plant supplies the entire citadel, providing lightning and even a telephone exchange. It was never affected by bombing. It is a rock in the history of the First World War. It provided essential logistical and moral support during these four years. On September 13, 1916, the underground citadel hosted a ceremony in tribute to the resistance of the entire nation, which entered the war two years ago and engaged in the Battle of Verda for five months. After the war, in the presence of the political figures and French and Allied military authorities, the President of the Republic, Raymond Poincaré, represents eight honorary medals to the representatives of the city of Verda. November 10, 1920, it hosts the designation ceremony of the unknown soldier who rests under the triumphal arc of the star in Paris. The citadel has been listed as a national monument since October 24, 1929. And Verda is the most decorated city in France with 26 medals. Nowadays, Visitors board a small train underground the citadel to see some of the galleries. Throughout the visit, realistic displays illustrate the everyday life of the soldiers in these galleries during the Battle of Verda. At the end of the visit, you'll see a tableau depicting the selection of the body of the unknown soldier. Today, the underground city of Verda is one of the places to visit or the main sites to see if you want to learn more about the Battle of Verda. So that's it for the history of the Citadel Underground. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications. And don't forget to share! And like!